Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a bit about the rendering previews within the comp here. And those can be found right about here in this lightning looking button. And we're going to go over what all these options here mean. And right before I started making this tutorial, I had to go pick up some gas for the lawnmower. So the person who comes and mows our lawn. And I was backing up with the car, and our neighbor decided to put a wheelbarrow behind, uh, like where I pull out of the garage. And it's a downward hill, and I couldn't even see the wheelbarrow. And I backed up, and it put a scratch basically along my entire side of my car. And uh, that made me really mad, so I'm going to just take it out on everybody in this tutorial. I'm just kidding. I'll just do it the uh, tutorial as I do normally but I wanted to share my sucky day with you but everything else uh, around the day has been good so I guess I got that going for me so let's get into figuring out what these different preview modes mean so up here in the top right under my renderer we'll notice I have a uh, ray trace 3d on and I've got a camera um, some 3d text and a light going on here if you need to learn how to create th 3D text, just check back a few tutorials, and I went over that in a previous tutorial, obviously. Currently, I am on uh, Fast Draft. Up, as you can tell up here in the top right, you can see what mode I'm in, our uh, preview mode. And Fast Draft is a quick way to see your 3D and to like be able to move around in this scene so I've got this little animation going on here with this 3d text and I'm able to preview it pretty much in uh, almost real time when by moving the slider along and it's not taking any time to render or anything like that so if I come down here into wireframe this is gonna be the basic of the basics It's just a box and that's pretty much all you're going to see. You're not going to see any colors or anything. You're just going to see everything in a wireframe mode. Now, if I had some actual geometry in here that I pulled in from uh, like a 3D program or anything like that, I'd see the actual geometry. Like, for example, if I had a chain link, I would see each uh, different like chain, but it would be in a wireframe mode. Now, I wouldn't be able to see what it looked like in actual 3D. This is the fastest way, but it's also the least quality, and you, you don't always can tell. You can't always tell what's going on. Now let's go to uh, draft here, and draft it takes uh, a second to render. So I'm going to pause it real quick, and once we get to the render, I'll let you know. Now that the draft has rendered, it's going to have to render every time you move your uh, current time indicator. With uh, the draft, however, you can see different things like shadows and other things like, and reflections and things like that. But, I mean, you're not going to have the most crisp, uh, most crisp um, edges and sharpness. I'll uh, switch between draft and fast draft real quick. As you can see, I'm on fast draft now, and we lost the shadows, but we have the same crispness on the edges. So let's uh, try to move in draft, and I'll show you what happens. You go to move, and it updates after it has to render. And you can tell it's rendering by this yellow bar that goes across the screen. Now we're going to head over here to adaptive resolution. Now in adaptive resolution, when you let go of the time slider here, it'll render, but it'll also render in the final quality. When you go to move your current time slider, current time indicator I mean, it moves it in a downgraded resolution so you can see what's going on, but it's very uh, downgraded. And then when you release, it's going to take time to render, but then you're going to be able to see what's uh, going on. So I think that 
the uh, adaptive resolution is way better than draft so I don't really see any too much reason to even use draft so let's go to the next one which is final quality and this is going to be rendered in full quality every time you move so when I try to move here it's not gonna be able to show me the motion path it's kinda like draft then when I let go it's gonna take time to render and then it's gonna be in full quality so I, I kinda feel like adaptive resolution is the best one for you to just stick on so I'm gonna head over to adaptive resolution especially when you're working with this 3D now you can change uh, the settings of the adaptive resolution down here in your fast previews preferences so if we click on that it's gonna bring us to our preferences panel just the same as if you went to edit preferences and clicked on the preview section now you can change your adaptive resolution to either half resolution quarter eighth or sixteenth when you're moving around